Hello besties. So today we are going to be talking about how I get my books that are off of my Kindle onto my Kobo. And these are books that I have bought um, through Kindle like or through Amazon and then I transferred them over to my Kobo. So if you would like to see that, then continue watching this video and let's go. Okay, so your first step is going to be you are going to want to search Calibre or... I think that's how you say it on um, Google and then you are going to download it. It's going to be this one here. It says Calibre ebook management. You go here to where it says download and then there are several different ways that you can download for Windows, Mac, Linux, portable, Android or iOS and you just click on that. So I'm going to do Windows and I already have this downloaded so I am not going to download it myself but you just hit here to download Calibre and then it will download and you will go through the process and then I will show you guys what it will look like after that. Okay, and I will also have this plugged in below. You're also going to need, after you download Calibre, you're gonna to wanna to download this DDRM tool and I will have the direct link so it will just take you right to this and then what you're gonna do here is, I'm not gonna do it because I have it downloaded but then you're gonna click this. And then of course at the top, it will take you to where you can um, click on it and then you can download that from there. Okay, and once you have that plugin downloaded to DDRM, you're going to wanna to go here to where it says preferences. And then you're gonna to wanna to go where it says plugins. And then I should already have the plugins, which is right here, it's the DDRM. But what you would do is you would hit load plugin from file and then you it would be right here. You just click that, you will hit OK or open and then it will automatically put it into here so that it can, you know, take the, so that it can basically convert to file how it needs to be converted uh, so that you don't have to do extra steps. Once you have that plugin installed, you're going to want to go back to preferences. You're going to go back to where it says plugins, file type this DDRM, you have to add your, you can double click there, but you have to add your your Kindle's um, serial number here. And I already have it added. So of course it's like gonna already show it, but you have to add your Kindle, the actual Kindle that you're using the serial number so that it can link and it knows like where it's coming from and where to pull from and things of that nature. So that's where you definitely have to do this part or else like this won't work as needed. Next up is going to be, you are going to want to, if you can't find your Kindle's serial number, say, you know, you're like, you don't know it and it's not on your actual Kindle or you can't find it, you can just go back to where it says content library. And then you're gonna to wanna to go here where it says devices. And then it'll show you your Kindle devices here and you click on it. I'm not gonna click on it right now because it's all my information. But you click on it and then it will show um, your serial number there. Okay, and once you download Calibre, it's gonna pop up like this, except for it's not gonna have anything here. It's just gonna be blank. Of course, I've been transferring books. So as you can see, it's going to have books there. So now I'm gonna show you the process of going onto your Amazon account and how you do that because you do have to download the book from Amazon first to get it over to your Kobo, of course. So let's do that next step. Okay, and your next step is going to be to go to amazon.com and then you're gonna go here on your account and you're gonna go to where it says content library. Once you're in your content library, you're gonna go here to where it says books and then you're going to go to all and then your purchases. After that, you're gonna look at whatever book you want to send over. So I'm gonna do, let's just do the legacy. So you're gonna go here to where it says deliver or remove from device, delete and more actions. You're gonna go to more actions, download and transfer via USB. You're going, this is very important. You're gonna to wanna to transfer it to your Kindle that you're currently using. So I'm currently using Steph's Kindle and Steph's Emotional Support. The Steph's Emotional Support is my Kindle scribe. <laughs> um, so yeah, so I'm gonna go to Steph's Kindle and then you're gonna hit download. And then you're gonna see at the top here, it's going to download it. And then I'm gonna show you how you move that over and everything. 
All right, now that you have done that, you're going to want to go back to Calibre. You're going to go up to where it says add books. You see that I have the book here that I want to add. So I hit that and I'm going to hit open. And then you see it's going to take you into the book here. So now you have to transfer this book into because as you see here, it's as it's as a AW, AZW3 file. So you want to transfer it to a EPUB file so that you can have it on your Kobo. So what you're going to do is you're going to hit convert books. Make sure that you are clicked on that specific book. You're going to go to the top here where it says output format, MOBI, and you're going to go to EPUB. Go all the way down to the bottom and hit OK. And it will start here. It will do the job of transferring. And now you see it says AZW3 and EPUB. So now I'm going to show you the next step. So next thing you want to do is you want to make sure that your Kobo is connected to your computer. I have it connected to my computer and you see here that it says, would you like to connect your e-reader to your computer to manage files? I'm going to hit connect. And now it's connected and then it should pop up on my screen here. Now, this is the easy part. All you do, and this part is okay. You can just hit okay here. You drag this, whatever book you want, you drag it over and you drop it and that's it and you want to make sure that it says epub file so that you know that that is the file that needs to be transferred over now i'm going to show you guys that it worked and show you the ending result and there you go as you see here it says the legacy this is the book so we're going to click on it it's going to open the book excuse my nails they need to be done and as you can see, we've successfully transferred over the book. Okay, guys, so I hope that this video helped you to understand how you transfer your books over. As you see, again, the book is there. It's showing up. I went through it and we saw that it's worked perfectly fine. So, yeah, if you guys have any other questions about how you do anything for your Kindle and transfer to your Kobo or anything like that, I will definitely be here to help you out. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, besties.